Ready? Yep. Hello, my name is Mark Stoner, and I am the writer and director of Contritus. This film was born out of a desire to tell a very personal sort of horror story. We wanted to make people think, make them question. We knew that we wanted to have psychological underpinnings laying the foundation for the events on screen. From the very start, we knew that we weren't exactly making a popcorn slasher pick. As to the filming schedule, we figured we could get it done in about three filming sessions. It took us five. There were practical lights that we were planning to depend on that were knocked out due to a high-speed windstorm. So we set up our own aperture lights to replace them, and we made do. By the end of the filming, we had battled wind, rain, and local traffic. But somehow, we pulled it off. Filming a monster is a double-edged sword. We had an amazing mask from Immortal Masks uh, that we really wanted to show off, but we realized that we had to do it in a discerning fashion. Originally, in our first uh, couple of sessions, we realized we were showing the monster too much. We were allow allowing people to get too used to it on screen. And we realized that by withholding it more, it made the monster more effective. And our VFX artist, Brian, uh, did a splendid job bringing the monster to life and just adding that extra ingredient to its appearance on screen. He added things like smoke curling out of its mouth, flames, um, the sort of pulsing effect on its cheeks. Really gave it a hellish appearance, the kind that we were going for. We felt was entirely appropriate. Our mannequin child was something we were very excited to unveil for the audience. We felt that it had the ability to disturb the viewer, which is something that tends to last and linger a little more than a jump scare. Our uh, faithful camera operator went to work on the mannequin, uh, painting it just the right color before dousing half its head in blood and wrapping it in plastic. Uh, for the so-called cherry on top, we pinned our burned Polaroid fixture to its face uh, to make sure that neither our main character nor the audience would miss it. Our music and Foley sound design were done by the same person, Youssef. Uh, the first thing he created was our main theme, which we adored immensely. Uh, from there on out, he did our Foley design, and our target was for it to be as immersive as possible. As they say, sound is half the picture, and so we knew the sound design of this film would be paramount to his success, and what he did just blew us away. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you enjoy our film, Contritus.